Okay, so I'm starting to see some people in the kind of spiritual truth movement start to engage a little bit more um, with the, um, the genocide of Gaza eight months in. <laughs> Um, now that it's starting to become, um, well, t that it's starting to pick up speed and also that so many people are deciding to just kind of turn their attention completely away, anyone who's been silent. Um, so yeah, more people are starting to speak up about it and more people are starting to engage with it and I'm starting to see why people stayed silent for so long because people are coming out with some shockers, some really um, ignorant things and, and, and you know when you hear some of these things you just got to be like oh you really should have stayed silent or you should have at least like done a little bit of research into the issue before you spoke and like actually listened to Palestinian voices or even even just journalists who are well versed with the with the Israel-Palestine issue, like Abby Martin, Normal Finkelstein, Ilan Pape, but ideally also listen to some Palestinian voices, okay? In their own words, so that you don't sound like a complete muppet. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this, okay? This is a conversation that I had yesterday with somebody in the spiritual um, truth community, um, which has just been a complete and utter disappointment for the last eight months, I have to say. Um, and yeah, I, I decided to crop his name out because it, this is not really about him. I don't want people to go and shame him. He did reveal himself to be uh, the liberal Zionist of sorts, although one that seems to be slowly deconstructing um, that worldview. Um, but let's talk about it, okay? And, and you'll see, you know, I don't, I do not suffer fools gladly. I do not, I do not take kindly to people sliding into my DMs trying to police my content or police my expression, especially the kind of people who are just do nothing losers who've literally not said anything about the whole issue. They're not engaged with the issue. They're not talking about the issue. They're not at the center of the movement. They're not well versed with the issue. So how dare you, literally how dare you slide into my DMs and police my content and police my expression. Who the fuck are you? If I wanted your opinion, I would ask for it. So yeah, I was pretty, um, pretty fierce with him. Um, but let's talk about the point that he brought up here where calling for the dismantling of the settler colonial Zionist entity that occupy, that legally occupies historic Palestine is calling for genocide. It's the same as calling for the destruction of Palestine. Where do I start with this? There's so much wrong with this. Sorry, I'm just saying hello to the watchman. Um, yeah, there's so much that's wrong with this. Okay, I, I already spoke about the fact that he slid into my DMs policing my content when he has basically said nothing about the whole thing. Maybe he's said one or two things in the last eight months, but not anything that I have noticed. Um, it's always the people that are doing the least that have the most to say about how you conduct yourself if you are a person that's speaking up and actively engaged. Um, but never mind the fact that he's been, so, he tells me that he feels my heart. Um, but he's been pr pretty much silent about an actual real genocide that's happening, but he wants to prevent another genocide that he, an imaginary genocide that he thinks will happen as a result of my words. Although we keep on being told that our words aren't doing anything and our posts aren't doing anything, um, and that we're not really helping, but if we call for dismantling of the Zionist, that's dangerous. That's going to cause a genocide. That's going to cause an imaginary genocide. Never mind the actual genocide that's happening. They won't say anything about that, but they must present, prevent the, 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 the actual proper genocide of the Jewish people. Um, calling for the dismantling of the Zionist entity is not calling for genocide okay as i've clearly outlined um, and i don't appreciate people asking me to do emotional labor when the information is out there okay there's people posting about it all day long on tiktok on instagram on youtube there's books on the subject there's articles how dare you slide into my dms and ask me to explain what a one state solution is what land back means okay land back means returning 
the sovereignty of the land to the indigenous people and allowing them self-determination in their ancestral homeland. It means allowing the right of return to the diaspora who were thrown out of their houses um, or their grandparents were thrown out of their houses. Okay? It means reparations, it means apologies, acknowledgement of the atrocities that were committed. Okay? It means talking about it in history books. Um, it means a lot of things, okay, but it does not mean genocide of the people that are already living there. But it does mean atonement for those who are guilty of war crimes. All people guilty of war crimes need to be in jail as stipulated in international law. This is not rocket science, guys. How dare you project genocidal intent onto Palestinians and onto the pro-Palestinian movement when clearly, quite obviously, the, op the opposite is happening by the evidence that is plainly available to all and sundry. Like, how dare you invert the facts in this way, you stupid moron. And for those of you who are supporting, um, please continue to support Mohammed's campaign. So far, um, we've only raised enough to um, evacuate his wife and ideally we'd like to evacuate his whole family. Um, so the link for his campaign is in my bio. If you can please donate, if you can afford to donate, if you can't afford to donate at this time, then please share. Thanks guys.